when you have 600 communities suddenly move out of poverty, even the government starts to pay attention and say, mm -hmm. what in the world is going on here? And so they got a group of PhD students and they said, I want you to go and I want you to um, go and find out why did these communities move out of poverty? And so they went and they came and they, they said, uh, they told the communities, they didn't actually believe it was true that these communities had moved out of poverty. But anyway, they got there and discovered, oh yes, it's true. So then they said, they went back and they reported to the government and they said, the reason that these communities moved out of poverty was because they understood their Bibles and applied it to their lives. Mm -hmm. Now, again, gospel resistant countries. So they weren't exactly delighted that this was the solution. In fact, what they did was they got a new group of PhD students and said, do a proper study this time. We want you to interview from the oldest to the youngest. We want you to go uh, all over and we want to know why did they really move out of poverty? And so they uh, did that. They went and went to a whole bunch of new communities. They interviewed everyone, oldest to youngest, and they came back and they said, we know the real reason they moved out of poverty. They moved out of poverty because they walked in obedience to their God and their God lifted them out of poverty.